All right, boys and girls, it's time for the hunk of shit 545 RFE to come out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, this old damn 545, she sure held her own. It's time to go, guys. As you can see, we already got the drive shaft out. Obviously, you got to pull the drive shaft out. That's out right now. And right now, we got James up here. He's already got the. Get up here. Right now, he's got the starter out. As you can see, the starter's removed. He's got the old shift cable linkage removed. Um, he's already starting to bust pan bolts loose. And it looks like he's working on torque converter bolts right now, yep. right? And that is so we can obviously pull this transmission down. Um, pretty straightforward with removing the transmission. I know everybody wants to see how we're going to get the other transmission in because it obviously don't belong in here. That'll be the kicker that everybody wants to know. So we will definitely document that very well. Um, but I'm going to quickly zoom you guys through the process of getting this old shit box out of here. All right, guys. So as you know, that you got converter bolts up here and like James was just doing you can take a, a long pry bar and stick a long pry bar up in here and grab these teeth and kind of roll it so you can get to each bolt and that's an, an easy method to get to it just trying to give you that little tip there um, other than that we're about to go a little further we still got the cooling lines right here that we have to disconnect um, we already got all the electrical connectors disconnected over here. Um, so yeah, we're almost to the point where we're going to be pulling bolts out of the bell housing up here, the transmission case. And she's about ready to come out already. Other thing I want to mention is these are the torque tubes that me and my buddy made. The other day these dump right off of the long tube headers right off the jbas and uh they sound pretty bad ass yeah all right so now we're at the cross member he's unbolting the cross member bolts right here and we're going to drop this bar down. The transmission is being held up by the transmission jack. And then that way we can start doing the rest of the bolts around the bell housing. And pull this piece of shit out. And these are the top bell housing bolts that we're getting out right now. Whoops. All right, so the transmission is completely free. And the next thing we're gonna do before we drop it down is we have the transmission cooler lines, which we will show you why we're gonna do this but we're going to cut these lines completely just cut them right here and then the way the new transmission works we will reattach these lines onto the old transmission these will no longer be needed as the new cooling lines have an an fitting 
is how I believe they work, but we'll show you in a minute. So these tubes are going to be cut. So we're going to cut these down or cut them off right now. We're not even going to worry about trying to detach them up here. And he's got his little tool right there that cuts the tubes. She's bleeding out. He said it, I didn't say it. <laughs> the old Ford guys. And the other line's cut. And stay tuned when we put in the new transmission, you're going to see why those are cut and how we're going to reattach them. So don't freak out yet. Okay. Uh, only thing I think we got to do is pop that dipstick out, probably still. Which is a pain in the ass, if I remember last time. Because it, I don't know, that o ring like glues itself in there. And as you can see, guess what's out of here? One 545 RFE shit box. One heavy monster for another heavy monster. Yeah, but hopefully the other heavy monster works. There she is, guys. She sucks, but the old girl, she did us very good for a long time. But it's time to, time to cut her loose, time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. All right, there is no more transmission in the truck. Now you can see my little torque tubes that I made off the long tubes here, a little easier. That's the driver's side coming down welded this to a collector and then bolted it on right here with a gasket and then welded it to this elbow and then these are just little turn downs right here for both sides did the same thing this side's a little bit different but you can see how they work pretty straightforward and they just dump down this is the new transmission as you guys know the 46 re manual valve body trans brake torque converter lockup this is what's going in the truck in just a second this will take a little bit of modify modification to get it everything hooked up like i said the cooling lines are going to be different and that's why we cut the tubes on the old transmission because these are the new cooling lines. You can see these are bigger. And then we're gonna attach these to the old metal tubing. And then this is our shifter cable right here. This transmission has three wires to make it work. That's it. 
and one's going to be the torque converter lockup switch one will be the trans brake switch and the other one is going to be the park in neutral safety switch to allow the truck to start and park or neutral only and that is it all right so the other thing we're going to do real quick is the old starter we're going to get rid of completely um, as you know in john's swap kit you can't use the factory starter with the 46 re it will not fit um, so that starter is going to be removed completely and there will be a new starter used for the 46 re All right, guys, so here is the converters. This is the old converter that just came out of the 545. This is the my Edge Racing uh, 3400 stall converter right here. And this is the new converter that's made by Ultimate Transmissions uh, that John had built specifically for this build. This converter is, as you can see, much different. And this converter is supposed to be around a 4500 stall so much bigger converter than that one but in size smaller all right guys this is the other thing i want to show you this will be the new starter that goes on to work with the 46 re right here so that is part of that swap kit and then got the new transmission over here ready to start going up And we will also be removing the factory flex plate starter gear right here, basically. Um, as you've seen with the new converter, it's actually made on to the new converter on the 46RE transmission. So this will no longer be needed as well. So we will be unbolting this and getting rid of it. The quick release. Thank you. This is in my big pocket. These say engine side. So this if is ever, if you ever get confused. New flex plate going on. And they only go on one way. Yep. Got to line up all the bolt holes, obviously. I want the blue lock type, please. It's uh, in the build room on the windowsill. What was what was the biggest tip you can do with lock type? Make sure you put a whole bunch on it. No. <laughs> you get enough. <laughs> I was trying to get an F. It's not the more the better. One drop. One drop. He loves one drop, one my guys. One drop is all you need. I like ducking them in a five gallon bucket. Yeah, and they'll never stay tight. One drop. Now I have to agree with that theory. Even with super glue or like model glue, when you do a model, the less is more. <laughs> The glue, the, the glue dries faster and it works better, that's for sure. Yeah, they got the good old model glue. Man, it still I, smells good. Honestly, I have no idea because I haven't done a model car in years. Hell, it's hard to find any good ones anymore anyway. So one drop of blue Loctite on every one of those bolts yeah. for the flex plate before you torque them down. Yes, sir. There you go. Properly torqued to about 30 ratatats. Good and tight. Good and tight. So there you go. You can see we got the man out here 
with the master brain getting this thing ready to go up cable on my toolbox so when we do the final installation to keep the dust from getting inside the cable remind me to put those on there. Cable boots. Huh? The cable boots. Cable boots. Don't get the baby go all over my boots. <laughs> Got it? One, two. And then you do this Dylan, come close. And listen, that is the pump gears engaged to the converter. That's how you know you got it in all the way. All right, go ahead. There strap you go. Just the a secret tip from John, putting in the converter on the 46. And you want to go in about that far. <laughs> that far. You got to see, you got to have his finger and go in that far. <laughs> and then we're also, I'm going to show you guys the... Uh, the proper way to um, this one, you don't have to index because it's 90 degrees. Each one is exactly 90 degrees. We're going to make sure his dowel pins are in the block, which I already did. Then um, once it's bolted up, we have all the transmission bolts in. The converter has to spin with one finger like this. Then we're going to take the converter and bring it forward um, until it hits the mounting pads, hit the flex plate. And your clearance just so happens to be exactly the thickness of the head of the bolt. Okay. So that's about what, 200, 250 thou clearance you want between the, the mounting pads of the torque converter and the flex plate. So if you can take your bolt and do this with it as a little gauge, once it's bolted up, you're good to go. And then once all the bell housing bolts are on, you're gonna stick your fingers in here and you're gonna pull the converter forward. If you don't pull the converter forward, and you just put the bolts in. When you go to tighten them, all you can do is bend the flex plate. So, there you go. Secret tip right there. Got to know that. In all the way. And you definitely want to hear that clicking when you go back and forth with it. She's getting strapped up like she's going for a rocket ride. She's going to take you for a rocket ride <laughs> once you let go of that training brake. All right, let's mount this baby up. Hell yeah, we've let's been get waiting it done. for this for a long time. Still recording this way going. Hours away from trans rake. Maybe not even that. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let Dylan put it up there. He's the one who spent all the money. <laughs> <laughs> you make comments like that would make people wait in the office, right? <laughs> All right, you want me to jack her off? You're worried about me. <laughs> hey, he can edit it to what, what he needs to if he needs to. No, that's oh, staying. <laughs> no need to edit that out. <laughs> and the first thing we're going to do is the converter. After all the bolts are in the, in the, the bell housing, because if you don't do the converter first and there's a problem with either bolting up or something, and you put everything else in the drive shaft, the cross member, you're going to have to undo all that. So it's better to always do the converter first oh, because forward. it is the only thing that on an installation <laughs> that you can't adjust once the transmission is in the motor. Forward with my foot and I must have hit the button. Now, don't hit the bottom one. Yeah, this <laughs> yeah. is the, the down. Yeah. Go Here, light man. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to push it forward with my foot and step on it. There Come up. Go. That was a shame. No one's going to see that transmission up in there now, right? I'll go under there. You got to put a GoPro underneath the I'll car. I'll go under there and talk about every now and then. GoPro. I'll, put, I'll put a GoPro right here yeah. during the drag race. Just so we can and then see when the truck does a wheelie, you can see you the can horizon. See it come up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> make sure there's no pinched wires on the one side. Looks like we're getting our ground out. 
Oh, shit. Can I see that light? Who's got the light? Right there. Truck's got the light. Oh, dude, she's right there. Put the bolts in. I know. Boom! We're putting a 1993 transmission. No, it's a 90, 98 transmission. I looked it up. And what year's your truck? 11. 2011. So we're going from new school to old school into new school. Because old school just works better. <laughs>